lesson, we are finding area of triangles. And the formula that we will be using is area is equal to one half the base times the height. And remember, the height must always hit the base at 90 degrees. So when I'm looking at problem number one, I do know that, and I hope that you can see it, It's I'm gonna write it bigger, it's 34 inches is my base, and my height hitting my base right here at 90 degrees is 14 inches. So when we use the formula, and you know, I'm the one that's gonna always copy it, area is equal to one half base times height. That's gonna help me put my numbers in the right places. So area is equal to one half, the base is 34, and we have a height of 14. So when we're doing that multiplication, we're gonna do this first, area is equal to, well, one half of 34, we know is 17 times our 14. And now, finally, our answer is 238 inches squared. Remember, area is always, and that is a three. 238, I don't like the way that looks, so I'm gonna write it underneath inches squared. All right, well, looking at the next problem, notice there's fractions there. So it all depends if you feel comfortable working with fractions or you wanna change them to decimals. I do tend to change my fractions to decimals as I'm working these problems. So I am going to do that, but you could solve it with the fractions. I'm writing my formula, area is one half base times height, and let's make sure that you can see everything here. I know that my height is right here. It hits the base at 90 degrees, and that number is nine and one half yards. This is our base right here. Whoops, picture moved. And that base is 19 and one fourth, in case you could not see the black print. So now I'm gonna substitute the values into my formula and area is equal to, and if I'm gonna change everything else to a decimal, I think I'll change one half to a decimal. So I know that that is 0.5. My base is 19 and one fourth is 0.25. And then we know nine and a half would be 9.5. So as I am doing this math, I have the half of 19.25 is equal to 9.625. And I'm gonna be multiplying that by my 9.5. So I just multiplied those two together. And now to get my final answer, I am going to multiply these two. And the area is 91.4375, and that is in yards squared. Now, if an answer, if a question might ask you to round it to the nearest tenth or the nearest hundredth, you need to pay attention, but that is actually the answer not rounded. All right, well, looking at number three, it is definitely a smaller um, numbers that we're dealing with. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. And I see that my base here is a 23 and 7 tenths meters. My height hits the base at 90 degrees and that is 4.9 meters. Again, I'm just rewriting it in case you cannot see those numbers very clearly. Starting with our formula, Area is equal to one half my base times my height. And again, as I'm plugging in my numbers, I see that I do have decimals. So I think I'll just write one half as a decimal. We know it's 0.5. My base was 23.7 and my height is 4.9. So when I am working these problems, I can just go ahead and I can multiply all three of those together if I'm using a calculator. If I'm not, then you would do the multiplication separately with this step and then the second. 
but you will get 58 and 65 thousandths meters squared. So again, our formula, area is equal to one half base times height. Well, I thought I'd throw in a little word problem for you. And it says, Courtney wants to carpet part of her bedroom that is shaped like a right triangle with base of four and uh, 4.8 meters and the height of 4.2 meters. How much carpet will she need? Well, I always love to draw a picture before I actually start the problem. And going back to the text, it says that her uh, part of her room is actually shaped like a right triangle. So that's why I drew that. Let's mark the text. The base is 4.8 and our height is 5.2 meters. So again, the base was 4.8 meters. The height is 5.2 meters. So remember, it doesn't matter that, notice it doesn't look the same as the others, but here is the clincher. My right triangle the side meets the base at 90 degrees, so I know that's where I needed to put my height. So area is equal to one half times our base was 4.8 and our height was 5.2. Well, again, I could have written that as 0.5 and when I multiply, take one half of 4.8, I get 2.4 and I'm gonna be multiplying that by my 5.2, my height. And so the area of her carpet is 12 and 48 hundredths and that is in meters squared. Using the formula, area of a triangle, area is equal to one half base times height. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.